so in this video i'll be telling you how pre-order works how not to run a loss in your pre-order business and how to calculate your pricing or your prices so let's just get right into the video Hello, it's your first time seeing my face. Hi, my name is Rita Melikos, based the YouTuber. If you're a returning subscriber, hello, besties. Thank you for continually sticking with me. Let's just get right into the video. The first thing we're going to talk about is pre order. What is pre order? The layman terms of pre order is purchasing goods before it arrives. That's just the layman terms, right? So, that's just the basic explanation of pre-order purchasing goods before it arrives so there are two types of pre-order there are pre-orders that you use like you need to lay down full payment that means you need to give the vendor the full payment of the item or part payment those are the two types of pre-order now for um, pre-order that you just give like part payment of the goods i recommend such i recommend hair as the only type of goods that you should collect part payment for um we're going to talk about this further in this video so i just want to put that out there before we go any further so before starting a pre-order business there are three things you need to look out for Number one is sourcing. Where are you going to find your goods? Because for you to have a successful pre-order business, it means you're giving a price that they cannot get at home, right? So for you to make gain, it means you're getting the price, the, um, sorry, the goods cheaper. That is where sourcing comes about. Where are you buying your goods from? That's number one. Number two is payment options do you have payment options available to make your purchase of these goods that you're importing and swift to make it easy for you do you have a payment option then number number three is pricing you need to get your prices right if not you're going to run a huge loss like a huge loss so let's talk about the first one which is sourcing where are you sourcing your goods from? So for now, we'll be talking about the number one capital for production that I love so much, China. China have a variety of goods. And if you've been following this channel, um, you already know how to buy from China. If you've not seen that video, I have it down below in the channel. I think it's around the 14th or 15th video on the channel, but just go and check. So... You need to know where to source those products from. My, pers my personal favorite is Pindodo. The reason why I prefer Pindodo is because Pindodo is easier to use for new importers. They give um, free local shipping and you are at least expected to get scammed on Pindodo. It's very difficult to get scammed on Pindodo. Most times what you see is what you get, right? And it's easy to navigate um there are a lot of reviews life reviews so you know what you are buying if you don't know how pindodo works i have a video in the channel that shows how to shop on pindodo that you can make use of so that is it for sourcing you need to know where you want to buy from whether you want to buy on 1688 or you want to buy on tabao or you want to buy on alibaba or you want to buy on Pindodo, you need to choose where you want to buy from. Then, pricing. You need to know how much everything is going to cost you when it comes to purchasing the goods so that you can put a price. But for the fact that you don't know what your shipping is going to cost, this is how you do, you do it. Now, this part is very important because this is where people run at a loss. So, please listen carefully. When you're putting your price for a particular good, do not add shipping. That is also what attracts people to want to purchase from you because when you don't add shipping, your price are cheaper. All those prices that you see that maybe...
something is being let's say this tab is being sold in nigeria for two hundred thousand. you see someone that is in pre-order will put it for let's say 120 that's because that price is minus shipping nigeria changed they, they changed their law their um what they call it their clearance um law as fast as they change their character like they change it every single minute so you might put a certain amount that okay this is what this person is going to pay for this for these goods for shipping and clearance and you know when you're doing pre-order most especially if you're not if the pre-order is not for hair or for um lashes for lightweight goods it means you have to ship via sea and it takes three good months a lot can happen within that three months so it's not advisable it is not wise to insert shipping when you are doing your pricing so what you're going to do is when you calculate what your goods is let's say you're purchasing the goods for 100 naira you're going to add a part of your gain now this is my own personal analogy so that your price can also be cheap if for example you want to gain 100 naira from this business you're going to divide your gain into two if the goods that you're purchasing is 100 naira you're going to add one part of your gain in that good so your price will be 150 when you're trying to sell it to the public at your pre-order price right when the goods get to nigeria and you're sharing the shipping fee now this how pre-order works when it comes to shipping um you share it according to the rates a particular customer's goods way you don't just share it equally unless everybody is buying the same goods and the same quantity if not you're going to share it according to what their goods weigh so back to the pricing what you will do is if the person shipping is supposed to be another 15 year you're going to add the other part of your gain which is 15 year don't forget let's backtrack you want to gain 100 naira You've added the first 15 naira right to the price of the pre-order goods when the goods get to nigeria and you're sending them message your goods is here or pay for your shipping and your clearance you're going to add that 15 naira now of your other game that's the half part of your game that is hanging you're going to add it to the shipping fee that you're giving that customer so when that customer is paying you that shipping you know that you're getting your other part of your game so that is how to deal with the pricing and not to run at a loss and not to have as in the price will not seem too extravagant or it will not seem too huge because they'll still say okay this is how much i bought it's just shipping it's just shipping that made it to be like this and you're shipping yeah see see it's not expensive so it's not like what you're going to be giving them will be too much right so that's everything you need to know about pricing then this one is very very important when you want to purchase your goods if your yuan um seller or your money exchanger tells you yuan is let's say 200 when you wanted to start posting you know it takes four weeks to you know it takes four weeks to gather your pre-order um the goods that people want to buy some people take two weeks some people take four weeks it depends on when or the duration you want to gather the order for so you can change at any time so if you're um vendor tells you the rate at the moment is 200 calculate using 250 or 300 so that you'll be safe because that's the only way you're not going to run at a loss 
if you want doesn't rise it's still you that is that is gaining and if it does rise you will not be at a loss so never you calculate the price of goods based on the current exchange rate do not do that you will run at a loss so what is very important in Priyoda is the pricing when you get it correct you're going to get the business correct that is just the truth then in choosing a product when you want to choose a product for your pre-order business there are pl plenty places you can see the product that you want to choose but one of my major favorites is tiktok you can get anything you want to sell from any um platform any social media platform can promote a product for you to have an idea of what you want to sell one thing i love about pre-order is that you don't need to have a niche you can sell every and anything that's the beauty of pre-order so you can decide this period this is what you want to sell these are the goods you can pick four five or six products or you can even focus on just one product but it's not advisable mm -hmm. so so that you can have varieties you can pick like four products nothing too bulky and you can decide to pick so you can go for trendy products just go on tiktok search for trendy product they will come out you pick the ones that you know that resonates with what is in style right now and that's what you're going to sell and people you will trust me you're going to get so much customers that's my um what do you call it my stanley cup um that i unboxed it was when the stanley cup craziness was going on that was when i just picked like just few persons i just wanted to test it and i don't want to talk about how much i need selling that cup but yeah just pick a product like that a product that people are so crazy about pick it and buy you're not buying with your money so what do you have to lose they are the ones paying for it they are the ones that all you all what you're doing is just order and make game that is it you're not putting any money into the business so for help pre-order which is one thing that people always wanted me to talk about but i don't know why for help pre-order that's the sweetest all you need to do is to chat one of those vendors i put on that um on that hair video hair video yeah just chat one of the contacts ask for pictures and videos of their hairs that they have available pick the one that you know that is involved that people want to buy their bouncy hairs their bohemian coils their boomies coils all those type of hairs their bone straight different colors the short ones post it now this is the catch don't just go out and tell them the price tell them that they can deposit for the hair put like a small amount deposit for your hair this hair for just pay twenty thousand naira. Twenty thousand naira is your deposit and you can split payment within four weeks when the hair gets to nigeria you're already with your money right but this one you're going to invest because they are just putting deposit down and you're going to use your money to buy the rest of the hair but they will not leave their money with you now right they must pay for it so unlike um sorry guys unlike other pre-order goods here you don't need to separate the shipping because the shipping is cheap and what you're going to be gaining from the hair is going to be much so you're going to do your calculation now for hair you want to gain cheap you gain nothing less than fifteen thousand naira for hair business that's how the gain margin is people gain as much as 200 to 500k or more it depends on your target market and the people you have around you are just starting now so don't expect to gain too much don't be greedy try and grow a brand add 
10,000, 15,000 naira, 20,000 naira, whichever. Because if your hair is too cheap, people will say it's fake. So try and be in between. Don't be too cheap. Don't be too expensive. Remember, it's pre-order. Now let's just talk about the advantage of pre-order. The only dis um, let's start with the disadvantage because the advantages is surplus. The disadvantage of pre-order is if you get the pricing wrong, you will run at a loss. You will regret ever starting a pre-order business. That is one. Number two. The delivery company you use is very important. If you use a bad delivery company, and when your goods, your goods is taking five months, you're having missing goods, you're not only going to run at a loss, you're going to lose customers. What helps a pre-order business to grow is when you deliver, and when you deliver fast. So try and use a safe delivery company a fast delivery company your pre-order has no business taking more than three months for you to start shipping your goods to your clients that's for goods that are using c and for goods that you're using a two weeks is enough for you to ship your goods unless you're not all about retaining customers my neighbor's gen is on so that just bring us to the end of this video because you guys are hearing me. But let's just talk about the advantages now. The advantages, you don't need to just ship one good, right? You can ship numerous goods. You can, like, the, the possibility is endless. Anything that is trending, anything that is in book, Every month you can find things that in book and do a pre-order. You don't have to wait for your goods to get to Nigeria before you do another set of pre-order. So any goods that is in book, you can add it to your pre-order list. Number two, you're not using your money. Even if you include your money, just like the health business, you they already have a commitment, which is the down payment. So you're already making sales. You don't have to worry on how you're going to make sales because you're making sales before the goods get here. And if you get your pricing right, you're going to cash out. I like pre-order because it doesn't keep you in a box. It's not based on a particular niche unless you, you want to make it about that. And there's no fun having a particular niche in pre-order. So I hope this video helps you and I wish you success.